hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how to upload the files and images using the web scraping library or automation library inside node.js called as puppeteer so puppeteer does allows us to upload files and images inside the chrome browser and it does it automatically using a method called as file chooser so it has its a built-in method which is file chooser method I have written a complete blog post on my website codingsiksha.com you will see that I have given the link in the video description of this live stream you can go to the video description link this is a link so just go to this link and you will download all the source code a single index.js file is needed for this process so it will automatically go to the page and it will download the file for oh sorry upload the file for you so let me just show you a short little demo of this application so basically this is the application we are uploading this profile or jpg file if you see in the left hand side this is the image we are trying to upload and the url is the remote server you can take any url of your choice where you want to upload files so basically i am taking this if you see here there is a api file upload if you just search here in google the very first link which comes in xhr also add this this is the xhr upload example we are taking this url x example here so here you can choose files here from your local file system and then you can upload this inside this application simple file upload form is there so you will see with the progress bar and when the file is uploaded it will show you this file has been uploaded to the server here so it gives you this url and we will be wanted to automate this process using puppeteer we will use this url inside the browser and we will try to click on the choose file button and it will automatically upload the file to us so let me launch this puppeteer script here you will see this is a script here and basically let me launch this you will see that node index.js so if i launch this script it will automatically open the browser it will automatically choose the files let me check here we need to give some time to it so we can simply say here let me so headless i will make it as false and we need to wait wait for some time here to for the upload process to take place so you will see that we are waiting for five seconds for the uploading process to complete so once again if i lo launch this application you will see that it will open this it will click the choose file button and it will upload the file automatically you can see profile.jpg is uploaded so it then it automatically closes so in this way guys you can upload files inside puppeteer let me write the code in the step by step manner how to do this process so let me delete this code and start from scratch so the very first thing you need to do is that guys you need to be having puppeteer installed so you will just write npm init dash y this will create the package for json file after that you need to install puppeteer which is p u p p e t e e r puppeteer library it's a very famous web scraping library and automation library of node.js so if you just write on google puppeteer so it's a headless chrome node.js api so we are using the package which is available inside npm.js you will see it's a very famous package it's having 2 million weekly downloads you will see that around 3 million weekly downloads so it does a lot of things it takes screenshot it converts html to pdf it upload file download file so in this example we are sh showing you how to do uploading process puppet here so we need to include this so we need to have the require statement puppet here after that we will make a simple async function so all the puppeteer code needs to be surrounded inside async functions here so right here we will simply have a page or sorry browser we will initialize it to puppeteer and there is a launch method out there which lets you launch the browser in a headless mode either it can be false or true i will provide as false because it we need to see the browser uploading the things 
so that's it after this guys we will open the page you will go to the url so now to go to a url you will simply have to say if you see a very simple example here inside puppeteer you will see that if you see here the various basic example which is given this is the simplest of example given on its official documentation so basically let me paste it and explain you what is happening here so basically we are including the module at the very first line then we are saying launch the puppeteer and this takes as I said headless parameter this can be true or false I will pass it false and then we will wait for the new page and then we will go to this URL that I provided here this is the URL that we will go to uh, one comment is there bhai kaise ho I am fine so we are just uploading the file guys so you can see that we need to go to this URL so after this URL we need to simply two people are watching the stream guys so we are uploading files inside the puppet here to a remote server so basically we will copy paste this URL here and then we will pass the second option which is available to us which is wait it until so this takes some options here we will pass network idle to so this simply means that we are waiting for the file for the web page to be completely loaded before we upload the file and now we will find our upload file button so there is a if you see in this page there is a choose file button here basically so I will right click this element and if I want to see which is the class attached to it basically you will find this this is a class which is attached to it which is api file input button so we will simply copy this class and what we need to do is that if you go to the video description link I have shown you so basically we will say here like this we will pass this class here you will target this in a promise like structure you will see first of all we will wait for the file chooser window to appear so that we can upload the file and then we will click the button which is having the class called as api file input button so basically this is the button here you will see it is having this class here attached to it so we are clicking this button programmatically using puppet here so we are just passing the class name here after doing this guys we just need to say file chooser dot accept and here you need to pass the paths so I will pass here profile.jpg this is the image file that I need to upload to the server so I will simply say profile.jpg so now we need to wait some for time wait for some time for uploading process so here we can wait for some three or five seconds so for waiting it we can say that the page wait for timeout and here we can pass 6 seconds 6000 millisecond so if I now ex uh, execute this application so now a window will appear it will click the choose file button it will upload this profile.jpg you will see that it will wait for 5 seconds and now the file is uploaded successfully you can also pass here multiple files here if I want to basically if I download another image and try to upload two images at one time I can also do this also so if I try this image here profile 2 so now you will see there are two images out there I need to upload this image also so I will pass the second argument put a comma and I will say profile dot to jpg so if I run this you will see it will now upload two files multiple files it will upload it now you can see it has uploaded the two files here profile dot jpg profile dot jpg
So in this way, you can also upload multiple files as well. So we have seen this example. So Vedic is asking, what is this? Please define. I am explaining you. This is Puppeteer file chooser method. I am explaining you in this video how to upload files to a particular remote server. I am taking this example of Puppy. This is XHR remote URL. We are programmatically clicking, clicking this choose file button and uploading the files here with the progress bar. So in this way, you can upload files inside Puppeteer. So you can take an example. Let's suppose I create my own express server in a new window. I can take, uh, let's suppose my example, which is freemediatools.com. This is a website I have deployed here on online. You, so you can also take this example also. So let's suppose you want to have uh, image to PDF. So basically, if you go to this here, you will see there is again a choose file button here in order to upload a file. So if you want to see this inspect element. So you will see that there is upload input. I can simply here copy selector. So first of all, we can go to this URL, which is freemediatools.com image to PDF. And then we can simply say the selector here. This is a selector we are passing here. This is a simple button here, which is having this class, which is attached to it, which is upload dash input. So you can see that now we can upload these images here let me now run this application you will see that it will open my website freemediatools.com slash image to pdf it will upload these images choose file button you will see that Five people are watching the stream guys so in this way you can upload files to external server using puppeteer so basically it's an automation library and it can also be used for web scraping purposes also so first of all you need to require it then we need to use the file chooser method this is the main method which is required for uploading the files wait for file chooser then you will provide your selector and after that you will provide the path of the images which needs to be uploaded so we are showing you this example let me run this one more time four people are there so it will automatically go to the url click the choose file button and then it will upload these images so in this way you can do this for any url that you have So if you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel as well. So this was the tutorial guys that I wanted to show you how to upload files in Puppeteer. So thanks very much for watching this video. And also guys, I have written a complete blog post. So uh, the source code will be there inside video description. This is a source code. So just go to the blog post and download all the source code.